Young Scientists, I'm Marie and I am a STEM ambassador at the high school. So today we're going to do two science experiments, one involving dropping an egg into a paper cup with water in it, and the other one involving knocking over a stack of coins with a plastic knife or fork. Alright, let's begin. Our first experiment is the egg drop experiment. So there are only four materials you need for this experiment. The first one is a paper or plastic cup, preferably plastic so you can see the egg when it goes in the cup, but it doesn't matter, either works. And it, the cup has to be big enough to fit the egg. So when it goes in, all right. And then next we have, we need to have an egg. And then our third material is a cardboard tube um, you can, I'm using a toilet paper roll, but you can also use a paper towel roll. You might want to cut it just so it's a little smaller. And then you also need about a 10 inch piece of cardboard. Um, I'm using a cereal box, but you can also use whatever you have in your house. And um, you can, uh, if you don't have cardboard, you can also maybe use like a, a plastic uh, tray or a tablet roll. That should work too. All right, so our first step of this experiment is to fill the cup with water. After you've filled your cup up with water, the next step is to take the cardboard sheet and place it right over the cup. And you want to make sure that it's set. So make triple check to make sure that it's right over the cup. All right, and then after you've verified that it's over the cup, you want to make sure that you put your toilet paper roll right straight up, right over the cup as well. So that looks good. And then once you've done all that, the last step is to take your egg and put it right on top. And if you're worried about messing up, instead of using an egg, you can also use a ball and the ball should work just as well. All right, let's try it. experiment we saw that when the egg dropped into the paper cup, it did not break. You may be wondering, why does this happen? Why does the egg fall into the cup, but the cardboard tube and the cardboard sheet don't? I have an answer for you. It's in two terms. The first term is Newton's first law, and the second term is inertia. You know either of these terms. Take a second to pause the video and write it down. If you don't, that's okay because I'm going to help explain it. The first term, Newton's first law, means that when an object is at rest, it will remain at rest, or when an object is in motion, it will remain in motion, unless otherwise compelled by an, out, an external force or an outside force. In this example, my hand was the external force that pushed the cardboard sheet out from underneath the egg. The second term, inertia, describes an object in terms of how much energy is needed to move it. In this case, the egg had a um, higher mass than the paper or paper, toilet paper tube and the cardboard sheet. So when the cardboard sheet was pushed, the cardboard sheet and toilet paper tube moved because it had a smaller mass. And that's it. So we're going to move on to the next experiment. The second experiment we're going to do is called the coin tower. For this experiment, you need at least 10 coins, all about the same size. I'm gonna be using pennies, but dimes, quarters should work as well, as long as they're the same size. And you can have more than 10, but at least 10 is good. And then you're also gonna need a plastic knife or a plastic fork. This experiment requires parent supervision, and our first step is to get a stack of 10 coins, or you can do a little bit more if you prefer. The next step is to take your plastic knife or plastic fork and 
using the tip of the knife or the fork, position your knife so that it hits the bottom coin. Similarly to the egg drop experiment, only the coin you hit with the knife is acted upon by a force. So it's the only one that actually moves. The rest of the coins above don't experience any force, so they don't move and they just fall into place. Thank you for doing all the experiments with me. I hope you enjoyed them.